Welcome to the channel. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. My name is John, and this is going to be my end of the year list the top 20 albums that I reviewed on this channel. I'm a fairly new channel. I've only been around for three months. During that time, I reviewed 20 new releases over the past three months. So I'm going to go through these fairly quickly. So let me just get started. Coming in at number 20 is Smashing Pumpkins with Sir. I didn't like this album. It was too like new wave 80s retro. It's just a bad album overall. Coming in at number 19 is Dark Tranquility with Moment. I know a lot of people like this one. It, I just didn't get it. I didn't like the vocals, the style. I didn't think it was a really a good album, so I ranked it pretty low, so it's at number 19. At number 18, I have Gamma Bomb with Sea Savage. Now, this is a fun band. I like thrash metal a lot. This album, I feel like it wasn't really that good. You know, the songs were okay, but it was just okay thrash. So that's why I kind of ranked this one a little low. How about at number 18? At number 17, I have Seven Dust with Blood and Stone. This one, I didn't really like too much when I first reviewed it. And I listened to it a couple more times. I listened to it a couple more times. Some of the songs might have been okay, but I think it's just like an okay album. Number 16, I have Killer Be Killed with Reluctant Hero. I did kind of like this at first, but then after a while, I didn't really go back to it too much. I listened to a couple more songs. It came up in a playlist every now and then, but it was an okay album, but I didn't really go back to it too much. And at number 15, I have Iron Savior with Sky Crest. This was okay. It's a German power metal. It has like a really big sound. It has like, you know, some of the members have worked with like Halloween and other bands that kind of have, have a different style. They have like a science fiction themed albums. So it's not like Dungeons and Dragons. It was a pretty cool album, but I have it sitting at number 15. At number 14, people are probably going to hate me for this, but I have Fate's Warning, Long Day, Good Night. A lot of people like this. A lot of people have it at number one, but just for me, it, I liked it. It's some pretty good songs, but it just, you know, it didn't like blow me away or anything. At 13, I have Blackstone Cherry with The Human Condition. I felt this one was a little too commercial. I was kind of new to the band, but I listened to their earlier albums, and they had that like southern rock, like a grungy Alice in Chain sound. But this one is more of like in a commercial post-grunge Nickelback kind of thing. So a few good songs, but I never really went back to it. So Blackstone Cherry with a Human Condition. At number 12, Phil Campbell and the Bastard Sons, We're the Bastards. This was recommended to me by a subscriber. They are the sons of Motorhead guitarist Phil Campbell. Nice Southern rock album. You're good. It's an enjoyable album. But the ones I ranked before that are a lot better, but I enjoy this and I recommend this too. At number 11, Fit for a King with The Path. This is a metalcore band. I reviewed this one. It's a good album. It's a heavy album, not a long album. It's about like 35 minutes, but it has like the heavy metalcore sound, down tune guitars, crunchy riffs. So I can, you can check this one out. I can recommend that one too. At number 10, I have Diamond Head with Lightning to the Nations 2020. This was a re-release of their 1980 album. It has all the hits, all the songs that Metallica covered. They were very influential, new wave of British heavy metal. They updated their songs, they covered Metallica. So this was a really good album. So these were all, the ones I have now are all great albums. So let me go through them now. Okay, time to continue with the countdown. Coming in at number nine is Witch Hazel with Witch Hazel 3 Pentecost. So this is a Christian uh, metal band. They have a style that's like reminiscent of like that, like 70s, that hard rock, almost metal sound, early Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden, those type of bands, some Deep Purple influence on them. I really like them a lot. You should definitely check them out if you've never listened to them before. 
At number eight is Armored Saint with Punching the Sky. This band has been around for a long time. They've released many albums throughout the years. They've been around since the mid-80s. They're a straightforward heavy metal band. A little bit of thrash into them, but not a full thrash band. Definitely check them out. I, uh, at number seven is Sodom Genesis X1X. This is a thrash metal band, one of the pioneers of thrash metal. Part of the German Big Four of Thresh. This album is a throwback to that classic heavy thrashy style. Check it out. Number six is Soil Work with A Wisp of the Atlantic. So this one I was kind of surprised with. I wasn't sure what to expect. I'm not really too familiar with this band Soil Work, but uh, you know when I wasn't really impressed with Dark Tranquility, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I was surprised it includes like this 16 minute title track which is like a progressive masterpiece definitely recommend this one number five is hate breed weight of the false self now this was an enjoyable album it's fun energetic you know i really like, like the energy of this album so that's why i ranked it so high because it's just it's just an enjoyable album it might not be super technical but it's a really good album number four spirit adrift enlightened in eternity this is a really underrated band. They have a classic old school sound, you know, reminiscent of Maiden and Priest. They released a really good album. All the songs are solid. Definitely check it out. Number three, I have Striper, Even the Devil Believes. This is one of their best. Striper reinvented themselves in the late, after like 2010. They're not really that like hair metal sound anymore. It's more of like a traditional metal sound they're a lot heavier the production sounds a lot better than their older albums definitely check this band out if you haven't listened to them in years number two of course i have acdc with power up i mean for most people it's like okay it's just acdc but for me it, it just means a lot i love all the songs i think it does stand up to the other albums in their catalog and you thought acdc was going to be number one but it's not it is Blue Oyster Cult with The Symbol Remains. So this is an hour-long album. All the songs are really good. They go through a lot of different styles. It goes from like rock to that brooding classic sound of Blue Oyster Cult. A couple of songs are heavy. I mean, like really goes into like metal territory on a few songs. I think it's like a really like a comprehensive album. So that's why I ranked it as the best of 2020 for me in my opinion. Now, I thought I was done with 2020, but there was a surprise uh, release by Chris Cornell. So I will get that one out probably tomorrow. And after that, I guess I still have a couple more lists coming up. Please like and subscribe, comment below if you disagree. You probably like disagree with a bunch of them, with any of my picks. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments section. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.